And I said, God, and I heard a python. And I said, okay. And I began to look something up on my phone. And he took me to that article, and you emailed the article to me. It was from Charisma uh, Magazine, and it talks about the python spirit. And I just want to share a little bit of that with you because sometimes it's really an attack from the enemy to get you off course and get you off focus when you decide that I'm going to another level, I'm going to begin to pray and ask God to do something. Amen? Now, it's not deep and spooky, but it's a spirit. It says it's one of the only named spirits in the Bible. The Python spirit is a calling spirit that works to squeeze out the breath of life, which is the Holy Spirit, and to cut off your lifeline to God, which is prayer. Amen. So you think about that python snake, how he attacks its victim. He grabs the victim up. You saw the movie. Amen. And he begins to wrap himself around the victim to squeeze the life out of them before he gets to the place to devour them. And even as I was studying this even more, it says the python will squeeze you so tight and then let you go and then squeeze you again. So have you ever experienced that where it seems like all the pressure, the pressure, the pressure, and then you get a breath of air and you get relaxed and then all of a sudden it hits you again. Amen? Oh, you got to beware. So let me tell you some of the symptoms of the python. Amen? Uh, <laughs> it's something else. Amen? The symptoms of a python, python attack may include weariness, a loss of passion to worship and pray, feeling pressured and overwhelmed, helpless and even hopelessness. The severity of those symptoms depends on how long the enemy has been calling itself around you and how much pressure it has applied. Uh, this spirit gets you to a 